Welcome, everybody, to episode zero of Mr. McHale's Manor of Mischief, Magic, and Mystery. I'm your host, Andrew McHale, and I would like to thank you all for taking the time out of your day, your night, or your commute home uh, to listen to me talk for a little bit on my new podcast. Um, This is the first podcast of my own that I've ever done. I've always had to do podcasts for other news outlets or uh, podcasters, but uh, it's something I've always wanted to do. Well, not always, but uh, the past two years or so, it has really dawned on me that uh, instead of switching the formats like, uh, you know, writing a book or uh, I guess reaching the masses via social media, um, is really almost kind of being phased out, uh, where in the podcast realm, um, you know, a lot of guys like myself are turning to the microphone instead of, uh, you know, pen and paper or, uh, fingers on the keyboard. So this is where we're at in 2019. So anyways, uh, those of you listening, I already assume that you are very well acquainted with me and my work. And uh, for that, I I just wanted to take this, I guess you could say, um, this platform and shout from the mountains, uh, thank you. And from the bottom of my heart, thank you guys for listening to this. Thank you guys for listening to my music um, for all these years. Um, and I also thank you guys for sticking around. That's the biggest thing I want to convey to you all, um, aside from, you know, I guess the whole purpose of this podcast. But I definitely want to say that to all of you uh, who are still with me and taking the ride with me. Um, But for the people who are not familiar with who I am, I am no one, but you could assume that I am the vocalist and guitarist of a Dionysian band uh, for the not initiated, I would say, uh, symphonic black death metal band, boo, I hate I hate saying that shit, um, called Serpents US. Um, it's known as Serpents for short, but for legalities, we're going to call it Serpents US because there's another Serpents in Germany and there's another Serpents with some, I don't know what you would call it, but they stole the name and that's great. We've been around for quite some time, but There's only one Serpents US. So with that, check it out. Um, Obviously, in the bio, if you really want to check it out, I'll put the link down there. Uh, It's weareserpents.com, facebook.com, weareserpents, Instagram, Serpents Metal, uh, Bandcamp. So it's weareserpents.bandcamp. You guys get it, right? The shameless plug. Um, This is my art. It's my livelihood. Granted, the podcast is a little thing for fun, a little thing to vent a little bit, um, show you guys what's going on in my head. But the real meat and potatoes of this entity you may know as Andrew McHale um, and lies in the music, the art. Um, Aside from that, uh, some of you may know or might not even care, but uh, you may have heard some of my other stuff. You know, I've played in uh, a band called Defiler from California, uh, Straight Line Stitch from Tennessee, and I guess you could say my breakout band uh, was Oceano from uh, Illinois. All great bands with or without me. 
uh, before you guys start chiming in on, uh, I guess you could say, uh, reminiscing on the old days, um, that person that you guys may already know uh, from those days is dead and gone. And uh, Serpents US, Andrew McHale, is the current form you guys are listening to today. So, however, with me in lies all the stories, tips and tricks, hacks, uh, tour stories, sexual stories. <laughs> Uh, violence, hatred, comedy, it all lies within me uh, from the past. So I retain all this information like a book. And this current, um, I guess, this current form of uh, Andrew McHale um, is projecting these stories onto the internet via this little talk uh, talk podcast. So... I hope you guys appreciate what is in store. Uh, mischief, magic, and mystery. Obviously, I'm Mr. McHale. The Manor is my little home studio. Uh, for those who haven't checked out the uh, album credits, uh, I usually have a kind of nifty name for each of my studios just for, uh, I guess you could say, um, nostalgic purposes. But uh, my current setup is the manner of mischief, magic, and mystery. So a lot of you may be wondering, what is, what the hell is, what the hell, what the hell does that even mean? Mischief, magic, and mystery. Number one, mystery. Life's a fucking mystery, right? Every day I'm wondering, what the hell am I going to do with myself? I'm sitting here talking to you guys. I'm talking. I'm in, I'm in my studio just talking to myself, looking at a screen. If that doesn't sum up 2019, 2020, whatever the fuck, whatever age this is right now, I don't know what will. I mean, it's, I, I feel insane just doing this, but uh, it's kind of fun because I'm, I'm like talking to myself, but life's a mystery, man. Check it out. Um, magic with a K. Uh, what could that be? Well, um, again, for the initiated, they would already know that, you know, I'm a little bit of, uh, I guess you could say, an occult knowledge enthusiast or a enthusiast of the esoteric. And with that comes the um, magic, with a K, um, term, uh, frequently. And also... You know, being an artist, I feel that music uh, could be lumped into that same category. So, um, life, music, or the occult, mischief. That's the good shit, right? Everybody likes to get a little mischief. So, the mischief is basically kind of like open form. Um, you know, we could talk about, you know, some of the crazy stories from the road or uh you know dating even i don't even give a shit but uh you know we all like to get in a little mischief and uh being a professional hedonist like myself um i have quite the tales to tell so um that kind of sums up what this podcast is about it's about life it's about the mystery of life and uh the essence of life, which is either music or knowledge, um, at least in my world, you know, uh, everybody's got their own thing, you know, um, but to me, the most important thing to my existence or the reason why I choose, now notice I said choose to uh, live another day is uh, to help spread some of the secrets or I mean don't jump down my throat people uh, I'm no expert in the secrets of the occult or whatever the esoteric but I would like to spread some of the I guess you could say um, nuggets or gems 
from some select uh, schools of thought uh, with you all. And uh, that's honestly what gives me purpose, um, gives me a reason to wake up in the morning. Aside from, you know, my personal life and uh, personal goals and aspirations and fitness goals and whatnot, um, instilling such beautiful knowledge that I have, I guess, uncovered. And again, anybody who has access to the internet or a library or a really cool occult bookstore or whatever uh, can access the same information I'm getting. It's, I'm not, um, prophesizing anything, uh, groundbreaking. Uh, so a lot of the people in that community would probably jump down my throat and say, Oh, you don't know, you know, all about this or this and this and this and this aspect of this. I mean, that's honestly guys, that's how it is in the community, which is why I basically just write songs to, you know, put that information out there because a song is my uh, interpretation. It's my dictation and it's basically just out there in the air. And if you want to grab it and if you want to get into it, if you want to dissect it to, uh, I guess, uh, figure this out for yourself, then that's there for you. Just like any other book, any other podcast. Um, it's just another, medium that uh i really enjoy creating so that's a little bit about this podcast now a little bit more about me some personal stuff Uh, a lot of you guys you know even fans of uh the tunes you guys wouldn't even know a lot about me because you are only familiar with the Uh, deviant hedonist that is portrayed on the internet or on stage. I mean, on on stage, uh, for those who have seen Serpents, uh, the rarity, uh, may I add, um, of seeing Serpents, uh, U.S., U.S., guys, you can't forget that. Um, You may notice, you know, my persona on stage is a lot different than what you're listening to right now. And I really just want to be myself. I mean, let me back that up a little bit. Uh, I've always pride. I guess would you say pride yourself, or I always have pride, prided, prided myself um, on the simple lesson in life that my mother gave to me when I was a child is uh, be a leader, not a follower. Now, in this day and age, it's very difficult because everybody uh, everybody claims to be a leader or a, uh, in modern terms, let's say, an influencer. Um, and a lot of, there's a lot of saturation in everything. I mean, not even in music. And I don't want this just to be a little uh, schmooze fest with all the music lovers out there. I mean, just even look at, you know, Instagram or everybody's an influencer. Everybody does, uh, you know, paid advertisements. If you have a couple thousand followers, at least for now. And this, this, at the time of this podcast, uh, Instagram hasn't gotten rid of likes, which is a whole other, uh, obstacle for us creatives out there. Um, but be a leader, not a follower. Um, Again, uh, people have podcasts. Every band dude is starting a podcast, which is fucking awesome. Uh, get the real information, the real stories out there, um, because I feel like a lot of people have no idea on the uh, trials and tribulations of basically being a traveling circus. That's pretty much music uh, these days, uh, which I'm... I'm fucking into it. So don't, don't take this the wrong way, guys, Uh, especially uh, any music friends out there. I fucking love it. Like I said before, I'm a fucking deviant. I'm a hedonist. Fucking get me on that carny. Uh, Get me on that fucking carnival ride. I'm a carny, whatever. Um, 
but you guys can still get me on a carny though. I'm not writing that out. So, um, if any carnies out there or female carnies out there, uh, please feel free to drop us a message and, uh, I'll have my team, uh, respond to you accordingly, but be a leader, not a follower. Again, I keep losing track. If anything, I think this podcast will, uh, prove to any doctor that I can afford to go to because, you know, I'm uninsured being a, uh, musician. Um, maybe this will prove to them that I have hardcore ADD or ADHD. I'm not sure, but, uh, yeah. So personal information about me. I'm at the time of this taping. I am 31 years old. I am an Assyrian male. Um, my pronoun is him. Um, I don't know the other pronouns. I'm not very politically correct. Uh, I just, that's one thing. Another thing you guys will find from this podcast that, ch- which probably could, uh, damn me, I guess is I'm not very politically correct. And if I choose to have my girlfriend hop on uh, for some segments in the dating field, um, we're not very politically correct. We're kind, compassionate, respectful people um, that view humans as humans and your traits are what define you. So if you're a shitty person... I'm going to tell you you're a shitty person. That's just who I am. I'm not worried about some sort of ridiculous uh, emotional algorithm that I have to, you know, uh, digest and lose sleep over uh, because, you know, someone took something that I said the wrong way and, you know, uh, whatever. I'm honestly in awe that... You know, I have to kind of put this disclaimer out on the first episode because uh, I'm just used to being misunderstood constantly. Um, Whether if you are an artist, musician, uh, painter, whatever, um, you know, you guys know, we have to have a thick skin. Um, We're going to be misunderstood pretty much every step of the way. Uh, And it's kind of like a hazard with the job but we will endure my friends we will endure uh some more information about me that you guys might not know uh if you believe in that sort of thing i am a leo i was born in the year of the dragon in chicago illinois um and honestly before music came into my life i never really got to uh explore much of the other states aside from uh you know a couple trips to the wisconsin dells here and there but uh, which i'm greatly appreciative for because uh essentially you know i come from uh what some may call humble beginnings um with my parents both uh coming from overseas and the meat uh of my family coming from uh baghdad iraq um you know there's a little bit of a culture shock uh, being who I am and the way I am. You know, I was born in America and um, all of my surroundings were basically very Middle Eastern, but could have been worse. Um, You know, I know a lot of people that still are very torn between uh, who they are versus who they're supposed to be. But uh, everyone seems to have gotten uh, the gist of things after a lot of uh, push and pull for many uh, formative years. But, uh, you know, everyone's super supportive now, which is great. And I'm sure some of my family are listening to this. And I'd like to just say hello. Now that that sentimental shit is over with. Just kidding. Just kidding, guys. Um, some other things that you guys might not know is that, uh, you know, I'm a, I guess you could say a freelance producer, engineer, uh, songwriter. Um, you know, I've ghost written songs. I've obviously written songs for myself. I produced, um, you know, all of the serpents records, 
engineered, edited, whatever, um, with some help here and there as well. Uh, produced some notable records as well and some not so notable. But uh, I also dabble in design. I don't really get time to play video games, but if I did, I would love to play all things PlayStation. Sorry, guys. Sorry, Xbox. Sorry, PC gamers. Um, I honestly just don't have the time to uh, play video games. Life is a game, right? But uh, uh, I've dabbled in a little bit of this and a little bit of that. Uh, I've been a stagehand, stage manager, lighting designer, barback, server, sales manager, uh, guitar center employee, um, uh, ice cream scooper, uh, state employee. Um, I could keep going. I've done a little bit of work in the uh, television field nothing crazy just some background work with a little bit of aspirations to potentially get some speaking roles or maybe even like a voiceover role what do you guys think how's my voice sound uh that'd be great um i've always wanted to write a book uh one of my biggest i guess role models or heroes as far as like a life career goal is uh you know, basically anything Henry Rollins has done has been a huge influence on uh, my life. I move from place to place to place, uh, some for the sake of music, some for the sake of uh, writing. Uh, but mainly, I was kind of following the gospel of Henry Rollins and uh, just fucking going there, man. Just trying it out and seeing if you'll survive. And, uh, you know, I left home when I was 17, 18, um, you know, due to some hard times on the family front. Um, left home, moved in with a bandmate at the time, um, fucking got to see the world right from there. And, um, you know, I, I still want to continue touring, but I also want to branch out a little bit and uh, dabble in other things like podcasting, right? Um, but the main reason why I kind of wanted to just take this episode and just kind of give you guys an introduction is that the psyche behind um, a person like myself with the beginnings as such really comes into play with the later stories um, to come uh, that I've experienced in my life whether they're trials, tribulations, joys, and happiness, successes, losses, defeat, um, fears, I mean, everything. Um, it all stems from those simple facts, I guess, that I just talked about earlier in the podcast. So I think that about wraps this episode up. Um, Thank you guys for listening uh, for so long. Um, if you guys have any suggestions for this show, please uh, reach out and let me know uh, what I could be doing better. If something doesn't sound good, uh, if it's not exciting enough for you guys, uh, if you guys have any specific questions or if you guys want specific stories or whatever, man, um, I just want to get I just want to get my mind out there and on the and on the online, as they say, um, whether for nefarious purposes by the powers that be or just for the sake of when I'm dead, uh, anybody that's close to me or anybody that, you know, wants to understand what kind of fucked up person I am, um, they can literally just refer back to this podcast here. Or my, I don't know, 12 plus years on Facebook or whatnot. So there it is, guys. Um, please feel free to reach out. Here here comes the plugs, guys. I'm so sorry. It, all of this needs to kind of come back full circle and fucking help. Help in some way. Um, Weareserpents.com. We are serpents.bandcamp.com. 
pick up some merch, some CDs, please, whatever. Um, Facebook.com backslash we are serpents, Instagram.com backslash serpents metal. That's the fucking nitty gritty guys. That's, that's where I need the help. Um, again, uh, if you guys enjoyed this podcast, feel free to reach out and, um, you know, ask me questions or give me suggestions, share the podcast. Um, I don't know what that means, but I'm sure once I post this, I'm going to need to say this, uh, rate the podcast. Um, and if you guys want to reach out to me personally, uh, I'm on all socials pretty much at Andrewcifer. That's A N D R U C I V E R. That's kind of like the, the metal way of saying it, right? But yeah, um, we're going to close out this podcast with a track from Serpents US called The Lust of the Lawless. We got a new video coming out for this song uh, coming very shortly. Uh, we just shot it in September uh, with Nick Prolo uh, in Michigan. Fucking video is going to be killer. Can't wait for you guys to see it. Um, and yeah, check out the new album, Tim at No Say. So please, if you have not heard it before, check out The Lust of the Lawless. Thanks, guys. See you next week. <laughs>